Hey guys, welcome to the Linux Talks, and today we're going to be talking about SiaCoin and the SiaCoin uh, network. So basically, if you've heard of uh, storage, uh, it's spelled store and then J, but um, it's pronounced storage. Uh, it's just like SiaCoin, um, and SiaCoin is basically a uh, way to host your files, uh, kind of like Google Drive and AWS uh, from Amazon. Um, but it's different. It's decentralized. You own your data. You're the only one who has your private key um, And everything's encrypted and it's far cheaper than uh, other big players in the cloud market of hosting and um, your files in the cloud um, So we can see that Sia coin is decentralized cloud is ten times less expensive than um, Amazon uh, web servers and so uh, if we go down, we can actually look at the um, cost compared to everything else. So five terabytes comes out to ten dollars a month, which is crazy, and it's five dollars for the bandwidth cost. And we can see it's private and it's decentralized. Um, and so pretty much to host your things on the host your files on the cloud, you would buy C coin and then you would just um, buy some space and then you can upload your files to the network. Um, and you can see Sia coin that's or Sia it has ten dollars a month for storage cost compared to Google Cloud which would be hundred dollars um, Azure which would be a hundred and twenty and it's far more expensive to use all these other uh, centralized non-encrypted uh, um, cloud services and so we're going to take a look at the Sia wallet and here's the Sia UI um, here is where you would uh, create your allowance this is where um, you'd have to send money to your wallet. Um, I don't have my uh, the Sia UI synced yet with the blockchain, but in here you would you could create folders, um, upload files to the uh, cloud, all kinds of things. So file transfers, you can host all of that. And hosting, this is very cool because say you have a few extra gigabytes on your hard drive, or even if you have an extra uh, one terabyte hard drive, you can use um, this hosting section to get paid for uh, for someone else to kind of host their files on your extra space and um, the cool thing is that all these other people are uh, using extra space on their hard drives to host other people's data but it's encrypted and you're the only one with the private key so um, it's safe from prying eyes and they can't mess with your data um, in the wallet this is where you would send your um, you'd unlock your wallet with the private key and this is where you would um, receive your SIA coin and how you would pay for uh, pay for the balance to upload files in um, the terminal this has a bunch of different commands um, like you could do host DB and it would just tell you um, see we don't have any active hosts yet but um, consensus and you can see a 24 24% done on um, that's our consistent consensus to the blockchain and so this is basic, basically SIA, um, and what it does is uh, everyone on the network, so your data is split up and cut and split up among all these different people. And um, if you're familiar with torrenting, it's kind of like that, so you get your data fast. Um, it's not like a direct download. It's more like tor torrenting, so if you need to access your data, download it. Um, it's uh, bits and pieces of your file from all over the world. Uh, so it comes in at a faster download speed than other um, other providers. So this is basically what SIA is. I think it's going to be a great thing. Um, SIA is a little bit less uh, expensive than storage, um, and it offers the same type of encryption and um, uh, the same decentralization that you really want with your technology. So why would you want Google Drive and Amazon looking at your data? Why Technically, they would own your data since it's on their servers, but with uh, Sia, you're the one that only has the private key and owns your data. Um, you're the only one who has access to it. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, come back and see us at the Linux Talks, and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.